Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on how to improve your English listening skills. This video will demonstrate 10 free websites you can use to improve your listening. Before we begin, let me explain this. Listening is the most difficult skill to improve quickly, so it needs lots and lots of practice. Using listening test sites provides a purpose for listening and aids motivation. Listening tests improve your listening skills as they help you check your understanding, identify main ideas and key supporting details. Here are a range of good practice sites. You can download our resource sheet with all the URLs and description of each site from the link below. This video will demonstrate each of these websites and how to use them to improve your listening. So, let's start with number one. Number one is Breaking News English. This is one of my favourite sites because it offers a range of levels from one elementary to six advanced and lots of different test type exercises. At this moment, there are 3,000 lessons. You can choose any lesson you are interested in and at any level. Each listening is about two minutes in length and the focus is on general news stories from across the world. So I'm going to choose this one, 2021, not as bad as 2020, says Think Tank. I'm gonna choose level six, upper intermediate, um, to advanced B2 C1 level. Every listening has the same type of layout with the title, then the listening text, then a vocabulary section, then a gap fill, then multiple choice, then some comprehension questions, and then some writing and some speaking. I often tell my students just to focus on these exercises here, like the gap fill, the multiple choice, or the comprehension questions. The listening MP3s are here at the top and you can have a variety of different speeds. You can also download the whole document here and this is where the answers are. Okay, number two is Cambridge IELTS listening tests. If you've never heard of IELTS, it stands for International English Language Testing System and it's the world's most popular English language proficiency test for higher education and global migration. The listening test is divided into four parts and takes about 30 minutes and each section gets progressively harder because it tests English ability from elementary to proficient level all in one test. Sections one and three are usually conversations between two or three people, and sections two and four are monologues with only one main speaker. You are given a set of questions for each section, and these can be gap fill, table completion, multiple choice, etc. This website has around 26 free IELTS listening tests to do. The listenings are completely guided and give you time to read the questions before the listening. So, you click on a test and listen and complete the questions. You can check your answers here and also check the tape script here. Then you go on to section two. Remember that each section gets harder and harder. You don't have to do all the sections and can just do a section at a time or do sections one and two from each test. If you want to practice academic listenings, then do section four because this is usually a lecture. Okay, number three. Number three is B2 First, or formerly known as FCE. It is another popular Cambridge English exam accepted by thousands of businesses and educational institutions worldwide. The listenings are similar to IELTS in that they contain four sections but slightly different as they are set at B2 level and around 40 minutes long. 
Section one and four are usually conversations and section two and three are monologues. They all have a variety of different question types from multiple choice, complete missing information and choose different options from a list. This is the same website as the IELTS website before and contains 30 B2 first listenings to do and the procedure is the same. Okay, number four. Number four is Reading University Lectures on their Self Access for Language Learning website. The lectures are divided into three groups, introductory lectures, lectures of general interest and subject specific lectures. They all come with comprehension questions and transcripts. Most lectures are around 40 minutes long, so you choose a lecture of interest. So let's just choose this one here, academic study. It provides a short summary here, and the listening is here. The idea is to listen to the audio files in parts and take notes, and once you have finished the lecture, use your notes to answer the comprehension questions here. Of course, you can also listen and answer the comprehension questions as you go along. You can check your answers in the key at the bottom of this page and also check the transcript. OK, number five. Number five is Academic English UK. This is our site and personally has some of the best listening practice for short lectures. These tests are usually used in English departments in universities and schools across the world. If you go here, you will see all our free listening download worksheets. We have tests on BBC Six Minute English, TED Talks, academic test worksheets, mini lectures, lectures and pronunciation. If I show you this TED Talk tests download, they all come with instructions and links. You can do them in a variety of ways from answering the questions as you listen to taking notes and then answering the questions after. If you like the tests, you can click on the links here and see lots more tests. OK, number six. This is a bit different, but students really like it. It's called Ello. This is a free listening lesson library online. It has over 3,000 free listening activities for all levels. Listenings are about a minute long. It has three sections, natural English, grammar-based English and academic English. So if we look at natural English listening lessons and look at this views and learning with TV. Here is the recording. You have the script to follow and a quiz and vocabulary development. There are also over 700 videos too. What's really good about this site is it uses a range of native and international speakers and different accents. Okay, on to some other honorary mentions. And these would be, of course, TED Talks. Most people know TED Talks. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design and was founded back in 1984. It's a video platform where expert speakers showcase their ideas in 18 minutes or less on topics such as education, business, science, technology and creativity. The website includes transcripts and subtitles. Another good website is BBC Six Minute English. This is aimed at intermediate B1 level and focuses on popular contemporary topics. Listenings are obviously six minutes long and consist of two presenters discussing that topic. There is a vocabulary development section and one quiz question to answer. What's nice about this is that the presenters discuss the key vocabulary and its meaning. Another obvious website is YouTube. This is a fantastic resource for improving listening, but also full of distraction too. I recommend using YouTube to watch lectures from some of the top universities in the world, for example, Yale, Harvard, Stanford, Oxford, etc.
because all of these have their own YouTube channels. A final website is called Future Learn. This is a British digital education platform. There are hundreds of short online courses from business to programming. The courses range from two weeks to 12 weeks. It's run by the Open University and all courses are free. What's nice about this is that you can do a course in English that you are interested in and improve your listening at the same time. Okay, that's it for today and I hope you have found this really helpful. If you would like more information and lots more practice in listening skills, then please go here, Academic English UK slash listening. Thank you for watching this video today and until next time, goodbye.